Here's a close-up of the Zookeeper bunny hat in crochet, and there's also a knitted version. And um, it started from the very top, and then you work down to uh, whatever width um, increases you want to work for your pattern. And then for a good part of this, it's just work even until you get to a certain number of inches. And then you're, you split off for the ear flaps, and then you make these ears separate and sew them on. So to start with, you chain four, and I've already done that, and I leave a long end on my starting chain, and you join with a slip stitch to form a ring So in the first chain. So you go back to your first chain there, and slip stitch in that, like this, and then you have a little opening here, and that's the center of your ring. Now I always work over the end of my starting chain and that's so I can pull my stitches and close up the hole in the middle because I don't like the hole. So anyway, and then it says to work six single crochets into the ring. So you want to work real loose with this type of yarn so it's easier to find your stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now, I, if I pull the end of my starting chain like this, very carefully, because I don't want my yarn to break, I can close up that hole. So now you take a long piece of contrasting yarn, and this is probably about 18 inches long, 12 would probably work, and you just lay it on this side of the last stitch that you worked, and then you continue on to round two without joining. So now, uh, if you have a hard time seeing the stitches, which they are kind of hard to find because of this yarn, you might want to feel it so you can feel the little space underneath those top two loops. So right now I'm going to go into the stitches of round one and I'm going to work two single crochets in each of the six single crochets from round one. So there's two. And then I'm going to go underneath the next one, and there's three and four. And then the next one's here, and then five and six, and then seven and eight, and then nine and ten, and then eleven and 12. So that um, completes round two. I'm not going to join. And I'm just going to move my stitch marker. I can either move it from, you know, it's like right here. I can move it back like this or I can bring this one forward. But I, I like to move it back. So let me just say I'm going to move it back like that. And then on the next round I'm going to work two singles in the next one and then just one single in the next. And then two, and one. And then two, and then one. And then two, and one, two, And one, two. So you're increasing every other stitch. Okay. So now I've done um, two and one, and then one and the other, and then so that gives me 18. So all the increases are done the same way, except that you're gonna increase. You're gonna add one more um, single crochet in between the increase. Um, stitches. So now the next one will be two in the first one and then one and one. Two, I mean an increase, and then one and one. So you're increasing one stitch in between your increases. So here's two and then one, and one, and then two, and one, 
and one, and two, one, and one. I always count like this in my head. And then two for the increase, and then one, and one. Okay, so now at the end of this round, you are gonna have 24 single crochets and you move the marker again and now the next one starts out with two like an increase and then three and then increase and three and actually in the pattern it's written where you do the three first um, and then you do the, the increase but the pattern is the same you're increasing one in between each one one more um, individual stitch so continue on until you reach the size that you um, want and then I'll come back on camera like for it stops at um, round six and then for child size it goes to um, round seven and eight and then adult size goes up to round nine where you keep increasing and then you're just going to crochet even um, after a certain point. So, um, I will come back on camera once I have all of my um, hat made pretty much. I'm going to follow the directions here for the child size and I'm going to have the hat completed when I come down. So you're going to be increasing out to a certain point depending on what size hat you're doing. And then you're gonna crochet even for like five inches for the child size and seven and eight inches for the larger sizes. And then I'll come back on camera with my hat worked all the way up to here and then I'm gonna show you how to make the ear flaps. So I finished my hat and now I'm ready to make my ear flaps. So I thought this light blue paper underneath my work would help since I'm working with a light colored yarn. So to make the ear flaps, the finished ear flap looks like this and it started right here and you just go back and forth in rows and at the center of the three single crochet group you're going to make three single crochet stitches in every single row and at the very beginning and end you're going to have two singles and then on the straightaways here it's just single crochets in the stitches. So to get started you chain two. I'm going to do this really loose so we can see what the stitches are because this yarn is kind of hard to work with. So I'm going to work three single crochets in the second chain from hook. So one, two, and three, and that's row one. So I have three single crochets. Then I'm gonna chain one and turn, and then I'm gonna work two singles in the first single. And then I'm gonna work, I can feel um, the stitches in there, so that's a good way to figure out where the stitches are that I need to work into. So I'm going to work three singles into the center single crochet and then I'm going to work two singles in the last single crochet. So that gives me seven single crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to work two singles in the first single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches and now I'm going to work three single crochets in the center single crochet of the three single crochet group and then I'm going to single in the next two singles and then I'm going to work two singles in the last single. So that is the end of row three and then you'll have 15 single crochet stitches. No, 11 on that row, on that row. Okay, chain one turn, two singles in the first one. 
single crochet in the next four single crochets. Work three single crochets in the center single crochet of the three single crochet group. Single crochet in the next four single crochets. Two single crochets in the last one. And that completes row four and there's 15 single crochets. This is the last row of the ear flap. So two in the first one, single crochet across to the tip. So there's six single crochets across and then three at the top. And then six back down. And then two in the end. And that completes row five. And the ear flap is done. So at the end of row five, what you want to do is finish off, but you also want to leave a long end so you can sew the ear flap to the hat. And I did mine super loose so that I, you could see it in the demonstration. And this is the same pattern worked in a tighter um, stitch that my crocheter stitched up for me. So then you would sew these, uh, finish off leaving a really long end, and then sew these to the sides of the hat. And now next I'm going to show you how to make the bunny ears. So here's a close-up of the ear. And um, to start, you chain, and the chain is down in here. And then you come back and you work so many stitches along here and then you work two single crochets in the next two um, chains and then the same amount of stitches that you had over here you work down and then you um, chain one turn and you come back here and work the increases up here and then back here and then you just keep going back and forth and then when you get done with row five no row three you're going to switch to the white color and then go back and forth for two rows of that. And then when you're done, you just sew this to the hat. So in the beginning, it tells you to chain. Let's put the ear out here. So that's the goal right there. It's funny. Okay, so it tells you to chain 26, which I've already done. And then it says to work a single crochet in each of next 12 chains. So, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. says to work two single crochets in each of next two chain. One, two, three, three, four, and then you're going back down the other side with 12 single crochets. Two, three, 
four. If I could find it, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve. Okay. Just make sure that you have twelve single crochets going up to the peak here and then two single crochets in the next two and twelve coming down. So um, the best way to find the stitches with this is to just kind of feel them and now that I'm past the starting chain it gets a little bit easier. And if you run out of chains, or I would just fudge that in there. Just make sure that you have the number. And in the pattern, it tells you exactly how many you should have. So, because you definitely won't see it if you fudge it in on this. So you chain one, turn. And now you work 13 single crochets up to the peak. I think I skipped one there. Huh? Six. There we go. Seven. Eight. Okay, now you work two single crochets in each of the next two single crochets and you should be right around the peak like it's creating like an elbow and then do the same number of stitches back down which is 13. Okay, so um, you keep going like this. That's the end of row two and uh, row three will be the end of the pink and then row four and row five are the white rounds that you see, rows that you see here and then when you get done you finish off and leave a really long end and you actually sew the beginning chain together. This is the um, actually the beginning chain folded together and you stitch these chains together like that and then across the bottom right here you can see where this is stitched to the hat. So that's how you make the ears and I've shown you how to do the flaps and then here there's some little embroidery um, for the uh, for the eyes. So let me show you how to do that. So once you get your, um, you sew your ear uh, flaps on, 
And then you make a little tassel here. I'm going to show you that tassel right now. So the tassel, you will, let me clip my pink here. So the tassel, what you want to do is just, see this is about this long. Got my little cardboard here. So you decide on how long you want your um, fringe. And I'm just going to wrap this around to a piece of cardboard. And this says cut three um, pieces of A and two pieces of B. But you can do whatever you want really here. So I just wrap it around the cardboard. And then I cut across one side like this. And then you take the tip of your ear flap here. And you take, let me see, this is a uh, four, so this is like four or five strands. I'll just do four strands to show you. And you fold your strands in half like this, and then you go into the tip of the ear flap like this, and you bring your hook from the wrong side to the right side, and then you Place the fold over your uh, the end of your crochet hook like this. Bring the fold to the wrong side like this and pull it out about an inch and a half like that. And then take all the other strands and then pull that through the fold like that. So that's how you make a tassel like that. So now I'm going to um, come back on camera and I'll show you a little bit on how to embroider the eyes. So here is the embroidery close up. And this is done with a double strand for the eyes of Eversoft yarn in tan color. And then this was done with the pink color here. So um, let me show you how to do the eyes. And if you look super close at the eyes, you'll see that it was done over three stitches. And here's a single crochet right here. And then there's a skip single crochet. And here's a third one. So you're going to come up out of this single crochet, go up to the next row there, and place a strand. And then come up out of there, skip this one down here, and go back down here to create this triangle. Then if you look really close, there's only one skip single crochet between the eyes. And then you create your next eye over here. And then if you go down here, the nose is kind of centered between the eyes. And then right on this V here. And let's look really close at the nose while we're at it. And the nose was created over three single crochet stitches. And it looks like it was just like satin stitched on there. Then you come down here with a straight stitch. And then you, there's about, you come down and there's about three or four straight stitches that curl up for the mouth like that. So, let me see if I can do the same thing. Oh, the other thing I want you to notice is that it's about um, an inch and a half uh, from the bottom edge of your hat. So, the eyes are up about one, two, three inches up. So, that'll give us something to go by. And actually, if you want to do your embroidery first, it might be a good idea. And then you can put your ears on to match wherever your um, face features are. And then you can put your ear flaps on to match so it looks like this when you get done. So I've threaded a yarn needle with a double strand of Eversoft tan yarn. I just folded it in half like this. And then on the underside, I know that I want to start about three inches up, which is probably about my finger height here. I'm going to do a little bit lower because this is a small hat. So I'm going to I'm going to figure out which 
stitch I want to go into. So let's say I want to go into this stitch. So on the wrong side, I'm going to come into that area of where I want my stitch to be, and I'm going to go into just the tops of the stitches because I don't want it to show on the other side. So just like this, I'm going to make sure it doesn't show on the right side. And I need to kind of get my end secured on the back side before I start. Okay, I'm going to go a couple times there like that. Okay, pull. Okay, now I'm ready to work on the right side here. And I'm going to go into this single crochet stitch right here and then I'm going to go one row up into the next single crochet over there and then I'm going to skip a single crochet right here and come back down to this row over here like that and then I'm going to go back up to there and come out the back side like that so there's one eye. So I basically started down here, went up here between the, uh, I went over to the next stitch, but one row up, and then I came down here and then went back up to there. And now I'm gonna skip this stitch in between, and I'm gonna come out right here to start the next eye. Then I'm going to come up here, which is one row up and over, and then I'm going to come out over here with a skip stitch in between. And you may have to pull it out and make sure that you have it in the right place. And this one looks a little high. I think I went up to a little bit too far. So all I got to do is bring my yarn back like this. It should work. Yes. Okay. So I think it should be right here. And then maybe right here. I don't know. So just play around with this to make sure that looks too low. So anyway, all right. So I need to go right here and then come out right here. So anyway, you get the idea of what this should look like with the eyes. Or if you want to, you could just sew some wiggle eyes on there. So that kind of, they did a better job right here. But anyway, that gives you the general idea of how to do that. And then for the nose, you just have to practice on your eyes. I might have needed to go up one more row to make that look right. But I'm sure yours will look beautiful. Just uh, make sure you post pictures. I want to see pictures of what you make. So now for the nose, you just thread your yarn onto your yarn needle and you start from the back like I showed you before and just below, probably about a half inch below the eyes, you want to start out like in this direction and you could go like this and just make a triangle going down. Just have your stitches get shorter and shorter as you go down to make the nose like that. So that's how you do the embroidery for the features. Okay, so I think we got it now. I showed you how to do everything for this and you just keep, like I, I was wider here and then I just keep making it more and more narrow and just make sure you keep going until you fill in the triangle. And then this is a single strand and it's just the same type of stitches up here. So that is how you make this adorable zookeeper bunny hat. And the links to everything are listed below. And I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel.
I'm back over here and I'm going to knit off one more stitch like this, put it over here, tighten over the whole strand of yarn and then pull that strand of yarn all the way through. And then just for extra um, security,